Hello everybody, I'm Martin Brundle and welcome to Daytona. Today's event is all about having a great time and hopefully improving your driving skills too. Before we go any further, I need to talk to you about motorsport safety. As part of your race gear, you're going to be allocated a suit, gloves and a helmet. For them to be effective, they must fit well and be properly secured. The visor must always be down. Unless it's fogging up, then you can lift it slightly about the width of your finger. Now there's an old saying, if you've got a $5 head, get a $5 helmet. Well, this is not a $5 helmet, but it may as well be if it doesn't fit me well and I don't do it up properly. Now, if you've got long hair, you must tie it up or tuck it down the back of your suit. In fact, if you've got anything that's loose, such as a hood, a tie or a scarf, you have to remove it. After the briefing, you'll be invited down to the pit lane. Now, as with any pit lane in the world, there could already be activity. Be careful and get behind a barrier as soon as you can. Approaching the cart, you must remember one thing. At all times, it will be hot around the engine and the exhaust, whether you're getting in the cart or out. So how do you get in? Well, step in with both feet. The steering wheel is for turning the cart, not a handle to carry your weight. Use the back of the seat. Go down first with your left leg onto the brake pedal. Remember, BSL, brake, stop, left. Now, I'm comfortable in this car. My knees are bent slightly. My hands fall easily to the quarter to three position, and I'm ready to go. If you're not fully comfortable, do ask a member of staff to help you. We can adjust the pedals, or they can give you a seat packer to lift you up and move you forward. Remember, it's two miles an hour down the pit lane. Yes, two miles an hour barely faster than standing still. It's the same for everybody, and just like in Formula One, you'll get penalised if you speed, so there's just no point. Approaching the end of the pit lane, my helmet is secure, my gloves are on, the visor's down, my overalls are done right. up. We're onto the racetrack, having a good look, making sure we're not going to interrupt anybody. Left foot gently on the brake pedal. Do not press the throttle at the same time to rev the engine. You'll only burn out the clutch. You should only ever be pressing one pedal at a time. Remembering the tyres could be quite cold. Now the bandit ahead has been looking a little bit leery. Finally he's run out of talent. Yellow lights, yellow wave flag, half race speed. Concentrate on your car. Don't go and join the accident. Single file, no overtaking. As soon as you pass the incident, you can resume normal racing speed. You've got to be smooth on the steering wheel, the throttle and the brakes. We're having a great race, but there's been an incident somewhere on the circuit. That is a stationary yellow flag, yellow strobe light. The race has been neutralised. Half racing speed, stay in line, no overtaking. We cannot resume racing until we pass a green light or a green flag. If you spin off the track and you can get back on, do so, but only when the track is clear. If you spin off and can't get going again, sit tight and wait for a marshal. Please do not put your hands and legs outside of the car. They're going to get damaged. The safest place to be is within the confines of those bumpers. Of course, if you're injured, a marshal will be with you very shortly. As soon as you see a red flag or a red light, check behind you, then bring the cart to a controlled stop, then sit and wait for further instruction. Something serious has happened on the racetrack. If you see a black and white diagonal flag, that means they're not happy with your driving, they're watching you. Maybe you've been blocking, weaving or bumping. If it's an all black flag, that's a more serious offence. For example, overtaking under the yellow flag. OK, I've been black flagged. I've got to go into the sin bin. I'm staying on the outside of the track, between the white lines, into the pit lane. But just two miles an hour from here, remember, as I cruise into the sin bin. Now, I may be being penalised for overtaking under the yellows, bumping or dangerous driving. It's probably cost me or the team the race. I've got a green light. I'm going to check everything is clear. As I pull away, remember, just two miles an hour now, Otherwise, I'll be back in for another penalty. On an outdoor track, do not go over the curbs. You'll damage the underneath of the chassis. As well as flags and lights, the marshals communicate using boards such as these. They're pretty self-explanatory. This one says pedals. Don't push them both down at the same time. You'll burn out the clutch and the brakes. That's the chequered flag, the end of the race. It's half race speed, single file, no overtaking, back to the pits. Well, that's all from me. Please be fast, fair, sporting and smooth. Drive to your personal limits. Good luck with the race. 
I just know you're going to leave here with a very big smile on your face.